What's going on everybody? This is Donovan with High Off Blue Hour and this is how you connect your Panasonic Lumix G7 camera to OBS Studio. All right, so for this demonstration, I'm going to be using OBS Studio running on Windows 11. I know everybody else has their own kind of operating systems that they prefer and whatnot. My OBS Studio is running on Windows 11. So here are the things that you're gonna need to do this. First, a Panasonic Lumix G7. Now, this may possibly work with other cameras that also have micro HDMI inputs, but for now, I'm just gonna say Panasonic Lumix G7 because that's the actual camera that I have experience doing this with. Next, you wanna have a video capture card. I use the Ryzen 4K audio video capture card. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure you can use any other capture card that has equal or greater specs, but I use the Ryzen 4K capture card. You're also going to want a USB 3.0 cable. You're also going to want an HDMI to micro HDMI cable that is 4K resolution ready. And then of course you're going to want OBS Studio installed on your computer and again I'm using Windows 11 with this demonstration. So I am filming this with a DJI Pocket 2. I don't normally film a roll with the Pocket 2 but I have to do so this time because my main camera is the actual subject of this video of course talking about the Panasonic Lumix. So hopefully you can bear with me here this is going to be a little bit awkward just because I'm not used to doing it this way but this is the capture card that I was talking about the Ryzen uh, capture card and it's not not expensive at all I, th I think you can get it right now for I know you can get it right now for under $40 like around 30, 30 between 34 and 37 dollars right now and this blue cord is the USB 3.0 cord and then this black cord right here is the HDMI to micro HDMI cord and so I've got this already kind of halfway attached to the computer it's not actually plugged into the computer right now but it's in its regular position that makes it very easy for me to plug it in the computer so I'm trying to like do this near the computer so that it's not you know I don't have to move all the cables and everything so this is how you want to do this first off let's take a look at the Lumix so we know where we're attaching things this is the Panasonic Lumix right here and you have this door over here on the right side of the camera. You see this little door right here. I hope this is all showing up. You open that door and then you see all of these kind of inputs. You have a, a input for a remote. You have a uh, audio video out input and then you have an HDMI input. That's the one in the middle. And that is where the micro HDMI end of your HDMI cord that's, attra that's, attached, that's attached to your capture card, that's where that is going to plug into when you hook this uh, camera up to the computer. So how this is going to go, it goes like this. You take your blue USB cable or just you take your USB cable. You're going to attach one end into this end right here. That's labeled, and I hope this is all showing up, this end right here that is labeled USB 3.0. You're going to put one end of your USB cable into that end. Now the other end, all right, so you want to take your capture card with the USB 3.0 attached to it. You want to take this USB plug and put that into one of the USB imports on your computer. And then you're going to want to take the micro HDMI cord and plug that end into your Panasonic Lumix. But there is some setup you might want to do for your Panasonic Lumix before you attach it to your OBS. I'm going to cut to what that is right now. All right, you guys, this is some information that I do think is important to this uh, to this whole process, because when I first learned how to hook the Lumix up to uh, OBS, I did, not, I did not know this information. I do think it's important information. You see how all of my camera information, I'm hooked up to OBS right now. You see how all of my camera information is visible on the screen. Well, most of the time, uh, you're not gonna want all that stuff visible. You see my battery power is visible, what, you know, the, uh, what mode my camera is in, my, my frame rate and uh, 
aspect ratio, all these different things are the actual indicators are visible on the screen. So if you want to get rid of that, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your menu on your Lumix. You're going to press menu and then you're going to go down to the wrench, the wrench that's by itself. You're going to go down to that and you see how it says one out of five. You're going to go down to the third one. You're going to go down to three out of five. So boom. And you see that where it says TV connection that's highlighted in in orange or yellow you're gonna click on that and you're gonna get this screen talk talking about uh, the TV connection and now you want to go down to where it says HDMI info display record in parentheses and you see that it says on so you want to press that and it's and it's, you see on is highlighted you want to turn it off so press off and then just back out of the the menu and the menu is no longer even visible. I'm still pre I'm still in that menu that we were just looking at. I'm still in that menu, but since I turned the display off, you don't you don't see it on the screen anymore. But I'm gonna back out of it. All right, I'm out of it. And but what happened? The display, all that camera information display stuff is now gone. So you just have a clean screen that's clear of all that. Um, behind the scenes, so to speak, information that you don't want appearing on your screen, um, you know, while you're recording. So I figured it would be important to show you guys how to do that because I had originally, I learned how to hook the Lumix up to OBS, but then I didn't learn how to remove my screen information. So for a while I had videos that actually had my, my camera screen uh, information and display and stuff visible in the video you could see my battery power you could see just all of the again behind the scenes camera information and so most people don't want that this was how you get rid of it all right back to the rest of the video all right so what you're kind of looking at right now i have uh the dji pocket 2 sitting on the desk directly in front of the computer recording what i'm doing in obs this is actually going to be just more functional for me to do it this way but so we have uh, the panasonic lumix already hooked up to the camera or hooked up to the computer through usb and hdmi now we have obs studio open and it's time to link the camera with the software so over here to the far left this is of course where you have all your scenes and whatnot and I'm going to create a new, well, I've already created a new scene specifically for this video. And that's this scene right here called OBS test scene. So I've clicked it and selected it. The screen is all black because nothing has really been added in the source section right here. This area right here, the only source that's been added is the blue snowball microphone. And I'm not even using that for this part of the video, but we want to add our Panasonic Lumix G7. To do that, we're gonna go down here to the plus sign and add our sources. So we go hit the plus sign and then we go up to video capture device. That's gonna be where, you know, the Panasonic Lumix is a video capture device. It's a camera, so we're gonna click that. And then this box opens up where it says create slash select source. And you can either create a new source and then you would give it a, a specific name right here or you can add an existing source. And I have sources already added down here because I've had to add and re-add the Lumix G7 uh, multiple times because sometimes you'll run into a situation where the camera, the software isn't linking up with the Lumix G7. So to get it to link up with the Lumix G7, you have to create a new source, quote unquote, because it's still your same camera, but you're giving it a, a new name and then it'll show up once you do that. So that's why I have multiple Lumix G7 labels right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to just add one of my existing Lumix G7 sources instead of creating a new one. But for someone where this is their first time, you're probably going to want to create a new one so that then you'll have a source that's down here that you can reuse over and over. So what we're going to do, add existing, we're going to click this top one, Lumix G7. We click that and then we're going to hit OK boom we got the lumix g7 has showed up in obs so it's linked up right now and it is in the sources area for this obs test scene and um so you can like let's see here like if you wanted to change the size you can like change the size 
of the uh, of the the window, and the audio is that you're hearing right now is probably not linking up with the video that's taking place on OBS because it's not going through the same, uh, you know, the same sources, obviously. But, but that is the Lumix G7 hooked up now. And then, of course, you know, maybe you don't know, you know, you ha can have multiple scenes. So let's go to like, this is my tutorial setup, right? And I've ran into an issue where the Panasonic Lumix isn't actually showing up for it. The, the one that I had here, Pan Lumix, that's not showing up. You right click it, properties. Now you see it's not uh, showing up, but what I can do is I'm going to remove this because once again, remember when I said I run into troubleshooting where the Lumix isn't connecting to the software. So I'm going to remove that Pan Lumix just from the sources, not from everything, but from this particular scene. Remove Pan Lumix G7, yes. And now I'm going to add another Lumix G7 video capture device, add existing, and I'm going to go to this Lumix G7 up top here that we just used on the OBS test scene. Lumix G7, hit OK, showed up, OK? So now, and then I put it like that, and this is typically the layout of my tutorial setup where I have a screen record going on, and then I just have my face up here in the... Uh, upper left hand corner just for certain parts of tutorials you know it kind of helps to have a, a face up there so you see who's talking to you and then other times I'll go up here to just the screen record scene where it's just the screen recording and my face is invisible at all because it might not be necessary and then another setup I have is this right here that I call one camera main and that's just where the whole scene is just you know, one camera shot from uh, the Panasonic Lumix G7. All right, you guys, so that was how you connect your Panasonic Lumix G7 to OBS Studio uh, through Windows 11. That's exactly, those are the exact steps uh, that I took when I first learned how to do it. So if you follow what I, what I said, it should get you there. I hope I was relatively clear with uh, the steps that I laid out and, and everything. So if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask. But I do think it, it was pretty, um, pretty straightforward, I believe. I know I'm not, I'm not the most articulate person, but I think I laid it out uh, pretty accurately there for you. So Panasonic Lumix G7 works well with OBS Studio. I'm very happy with it. I've used the G7 for a long time now, actually. This is it's been a very durable quality camera for me in OBS Studio. To me, is a very good, very useful quality software for live streaming and just really kind of video production in general. Depending on what type of YouTube videos you do or what type of videos you do in general, OBS can really make things very convenient and you know a little bit more streamlined uh, for your videos. Okay, so that that's the video. Uh, everything that I've used in this video. I've got links down below. They are affiliate links. Uh, no pressure on clicking them. And you know, the most important thing is that you learn what you needed to learn from this video. But everything that I used from the Panasonic Lumix G7 to the DJI Pocket 2 uh, to even the lav mics, uh, all of that, uh, the uh, video capture card links and all of that are uh, down below if anybody happens to be interested in it. So that is the video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I will catch you on the next one.